All right, guys. I promised y'all I would get you out here and we'd start taking a look at the Scorpion slash OCP2 pattern a little bit in the, in the woods. Um, apologize for not being able to get out here sooner. Still dealing with some back issues and stuff. Um, I'm going to try to get in what I can for you today. I'm not going to be able to do everything that I want to do. Uh, so that kind of means it's a good thing for y'all in a way because that means there'll be another video coming at some point. Currently, I'm not going to use any gear or anything with this. Uh, from what I'm being told uh, by a couple of friends, the, the Army is kind of still up in the air on what they're going to do about uh, equipment and gear and such. There have been some rumors that they're going to go to all Coyote gear, and then others have said before they do that, they're actually going to take all the existing UCP pattern stuff and dye it. That kind of, I understand why they'd want to do that just from a cost standpoint, but yeah, dyed, brown dyed UCP gear just doesn't sound all that great to me, but again, <clears throat> just my two cents. The other thing to point out is I don't have any matching headgear at the moment. So uh, I'm working on that until I get me uh, some matching headgear. The old uh, standard multicam is going to have to have to do for the time being. So if you're just watching this and don't know what I'm talking about, go back and look uh, from a couple weeks back where I did the video on this new pattern. It's the new pattern that the Army is using their uh, Scorpion slash OCP2, whatever you want to call it. Um, that'll give you all the info on, on the, the uniform and such and the pattern. What we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get back here and we're going to take a look at it in the in a little swampy area a little bit. Uh, again, this is just one environment. This is kind of a, a old swampy wooded area. We'll see how it does in there. It's an absolutely cloudless sky today. So it's 100% sunshine overhead. Um, as thick as it is back there, in some places the light comes through, in some places it doesn't. So it's going to be interesting to see, even for me, you know, how it handles the changing dark to light areas, uh, you know, shadows, non-shadows, etc. So that said, uh, again, I'm not going to be using any gear or anything today. We'll go try it out. I'll try to throw up some uh, some decent still pictures at the end of the video and then we'll uh we'll close it out and do something again next time so like i said once i add some more stuff i'll probably have to do another video i also want to do this in in another environment so hold on let's get going and uh see what this stuff looks like
All right, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed taking a look at what this uh, new scorpion pattern looks like back in this little swampy area. Hope that kind of gives you an idea of, you know, how well it won't work, will work, etc. Again, it's not uh, multicam, but it's not supposed to be. Sure, on paper, uh, technically it's probably not as effective as multicam. But like I said before, that's like differentiating between uh, a Mustang Cobra and a Mustang Saline and saying that because the Cobra is not a Saline, the Cobra is not fast. Okay? So, anyway, there you go. Take care, stay prepared, and we'll talk to you next time.